pooling so, of resources across the United so Kingdom. So where does this 40%, uh, the, 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 the suggestion that Scotland should read 40% of its budget, well, where, think, where does that figure come from? I think from? the report says it's not really a matter of arithmetic, it's a matter of judgment, and I think that's right. But that felt right to us. You'll know that Gordon Brown made the point that about That seems rather what he though, called, does it not? No, I wouldn't agree with that. I think he called them covenanted rights. It's things you can expect wherever you are in the United Kingdom. It's reasonable that a degree of resources raised at a UK level. We took round about the 40% for the Scottish Parliament. The fundamental principle here is, however, that we need to get past the point where the Scottish Parliament is about spending money and not really taking on some of the responsibilities around raising money. Uh, we looked across Europe, and actually across Europe, we were quite distinct in that there was so much political devolution, but very, very little devolution in terms of raising taxation. We believed that was important, Tim, but we didn't want to be in a position where we were breaking the benefits of being across in the United Kingdom of being able to share resource and risk across the whole United Kingdom. Your proposal, um, you, you propose uh, increasing taxes for high earners from 45 pence to 50 pence. What will that raise? Well, we, what we said, we think it's something like £100 million which in itself, some people have said, well, that's not very much money. You could get something like 3,000 nurses for that. They're not huge numbers of top-rate tax earners. What I would be saying... The IFS predicted it would be 100 million across the UK, not in Scotland, the well, Institute for Fiscal Studies. Well, those are the figures we had, and we, whatever the money's were, I'm sure that we would be able to find good well, use the for the money. The suggestion is it's 10 million. But, well, the point I'm making to you is, I don't think it is 10 million, mm. but the point I'm making to you is this, that we want the Parliament to have the power, but we decide how we use that power by having a conversation with the people of Scotland about what taxation they're prepared to pay. And that is certainly something we would be very clear about ahead of 2016.